Workshop, Unit 4, Session 8, Rereading to Learn More About Characters. Today I want to teach you that when you reread, you don't just see new things in the story. You also notice new things about the characters. When you discover new details, you can think, what is this teaching me about this character? Let's add reread to learn more about characters to our anchor chart. Let's do this thinking and noticing work together. As we read, let's use what we already know about the characters to realize new things. I'll start. Think along with me. And if you're realizing something new, put a thumb up. Chapter 1, Baseball. Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, loved to take loved to nap in the summertime. They loved napping in the garden. They loved napping on the porch. They loved napping in the car. I already knew that Mr. Putter loves to take naps, but now I see that he naps everywhere with his cat, Tabby, even in the car. But what is this teaching me about Mr. Putter? Hmm, I'm realizing that he naps so much because he's old and not so peppy. He needs lots of rest. It seems that we nap all the time, Mr. Putter said to Tabby one day. Tabby was old and her frisky days were over. She loved napping. I think we need a sport, said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened one eye. I think we need baseball, said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened the other eye. I wonder where my old mitt is, said Mr. Putter. He headed to the basement. Tabby was wide awake now. You may notice <clears throat> some noticings might be that there's lots of other sports stuff in Mr. Putter's basement. You might have noticed the roller skates and the bike. I even see a sled and a bowling ball. Sometimes words teach us new things about the character and other times we can learn more by looking closely at the picture. So there's lots of sports equipment in Mr. Putter's basement. What is this teaching us? Maybe Mr. Putter used to be really active and loved sports when he was younger. Rereading is helping us learn so much more about Mr. Putter. See, you can reread and use the pictures and the words to notice new things about a character. Then you can think, what is this teaching me about the character? To understand the character even better. Let's try a bit more. Chapter 2, The Team. Mr. Putter found his mitt. Now all we need is a team, he told Tabby. Mr. Putter called his friend and neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry. Mrs. Teaberry would know about a team. She was very sporty. She even walked the dogathon with her good dog, Zeke. Of course there's a team, said Mrs. T. Berry. It's called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Am I too old to play? asked Mr. Putter. Heavens no, said Mrs. T. Berry, handing Zeke a sniffy bone. You will feel young on that team. Will my knees feel young on that team? asked Mr. Putter. You are not too old and neither am I, said Mrs. T. Berry. We'll both play. Mr. Putter hung up the phone. I hope I'm not too old, he said to Tabby. Tabby just purred. To her, Mr. Putter was perfect. Okay, I want you to think about what new details you've uncovered and what you learned about the characters. Share it with someone you're reading with or whisper it into your iPad. Now it's your turn to try it. So readers, or should I say re-readers, Remember that you can learn even more about your characters by rereading. You can think about everything you already know about them. Then look closely at the picture and reread the words extra carefully to notice new details. Think, what is this teaching me about this character? <laughs>